Paul McCartney refocused his musical efforts in 1999 after enduring a terrible personal loss. For solace and motivation, he listened to music from his boyhood. Run Devil Run was the successful record that came out of it. Although many renditions of rock classics fail to capture the spirit of the originals and sound like boring repetitions, McCartney and the band he utilized for the album truly slay. Take a look at the history of Paul's impromptu project, Run Devil Run, and see how it made an impression. Linda McCartney lost her fight with cancer on April 17, 1998. As far as rock and roll marriages go, when instability is par for the course, the McCartney's union had been picture perfect. Despite the former Beatles' hectic work schedule, the couple seldom ever spent time apart. So, it was reasonable for McCartney to take a year off from the spotlight to grieve and recharge. After Linda passed away, many people wanted to know if his next album will deal with the grief he was probably suffering. However, McCartney opted for something more energetic and most all, happy. Because McCartney has always loved the classic rock and roll and R&B songs from their infancy, he chose to release an album largely including cover versions of such tunes. Aside from a few of Outliers, he also had a preference for less obvious options. That was the reason why, instead of following tired formulas, the record had a somewhat more modern sound. Run Devil Run has great music choices. Even when McCartney and his colleagues stick to tried and true methods, they always find a way to give the perennials a unique spin. They give All Shook Up a turbo boost, transforming it into a thick, rumbling rocker. Maybe because the words were so close to home for him at the time, McCartney puts on an emotionally wrenching performance of Ricky Nelson's classic Lonesome Town by singing in his upper vocal range. As he and the band explore some of the lesser known tunes, they argue that they are every bit as magnificent as the popular ones. Gilmore embellishes I Got Stung with crunching chords, while She Said Yeah is a joyous frolic. On Coquette, McCartney flawlessly channels his inner fats domino. The three originals by Maka aren't as good as the rock staples featured here, but they're also not bad. The title track, which rolls and roars with remarkable ferocity, is the finest of the three. The band's chemistry is exceptional, especially when you consider that they were learning all this new material on the spot. Considering his heritage, it is remarkable to hear Paul McCartney sounding as free and inspired as on Run Devil Run. It is clear that he is an accomplished band leader. No one knows if it helped him cope with his loss, but it made everyone who heard it happy.